my mom's getting cataract surgery and by my husband, no less. If you're interested in finding out from a patient's perspective what cataract surgery is like and I review everything you need to know for what to expect for your upcoming cataract surgery, keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye surgery, eye health, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit that like, follow, subscribe, do all the things so you can get these videos as soon as I drop them. All right, my mom flew in all the way from North Carolina with my dad to Hawaii and I really insisted that she have her surgery here. Actually, she chose. She could have had it in North Carolina at a very nice academic university hospital where her normal ophthalmologist is, but she really trusts my husband. And you might be asking, why am I not doing my mom's surgery? A couple different reasons. First, I don't do adult cataract surgery anymore. I only do children's cataract surgery and adult strabismus or misaligned lazy eye surgery. My husband does tons of cataract surgeries. He does a lot. And so he's really experienced, so thorough and so, so good. So that's why my mom ended up in his hand. Second, operating on your own mom, yes. So that was not something I would do even if I was doing adult cataract surgery, no. So I'm very glad that was not up to me. Let's take a look. So my mom is having cataract surgery today and you're gonna get an inside look. My husband's performing it. So you're gonna see the pre-op area, the operating room, the lasers, everything that you normally can't see, but because this is my mom, she said it's okay to film it. You ready, mom? I should have. To not need glasses in one eye. <laughs> That would be nice, right? No, I mean, like this one, use it for looking at distant one and reading, of course. So All right. Now, looking forward to not having to wear it. You didn't drink water, right? She said just to drink yeah. a little bit of with the tablet. With your pills, yeah. I take my thyroid then. Right, yeah. I take that with small sips of water, no coffee. That's always that. That I'm missing all the nice food smell coming. <laughs> Now, most patients don't get a ride with their surgeon, you know. I know, I'm so lucky. <laughs> what service? I know, door to door. Door to door service in a Tesla 3. Okay, good luck, Mom. Good luck. Jeff, I guess, should be the more appropriate one. She's off to the surgical center. What do you expect? Usually you have to arrive two hours before surgery. So that's why our surgical counselor actually put her surgery a little bit more into the day. Otherwise she would have had to get there in advance of my husband if it was the first surgery of the day. You have to make sure that you don't eat anything after midnight the night before surgery and even no water. You can take your medicines with small sips of water if you take medication for high blood pressure or diabetes or whatever it is. In the morning, you go ahead and take those medicines but just with very, very tiny sips of water. When you show up at the surgical center, you'll be greeted and usually they'll check your temperature, do all of that stuff and they'll get you settled in. The nice thing is it depends on whether you're at a surgical center or at a hospital. So the rules are really different as to whether or not you have to put on a hospital gown or you can keep your own regular clothes on. But they will start an IV once you're all settled in the bed. And the reason for this is cataract surgery feels weird and we want you to feel as calm as possible. We want it to be a really good experience. So there is some sedation typically offered by the anesthesiologist. This is the kind of sedation or IV medicine that you would get if you've had a colonoscopy be before. Next, all the nurses are going to ask you many, many times which eye you're having surgery on. They want to make sure they're getting the right eye. The surgeon will put a little mark on the eye. Sometimes they'll even shield the opposite eye. So it's like a no-go. You cannot operate on the wrong eye. And then depending on if you have chosen to have the laser cataract surgery or not, there's two different machines for that. There's the catalyst and the lens X. And typically these machines are located in a separate laser suite next to, but not inside the operating room. So let's take a look and see how it was for my mom. And then I have this, this 
same number drop that Cindy put in there and put it again. So your eyeball will be numb, but your eyelids are not, so you feel the stretching. Okay, keep both eyes open. You look straight here, and we're going to slide you under like this. So next you're actually positioned underneath the machine and your head is strapped. You saw that the nurse strapped the head and that's just so that everything is kept in good position and you don't accidentally move your head or you know get in the wrong position during the surgery. Now what's being inserted is called an LOI. It holds the eyelids open. And once that's inserted into your eye, then your surgeon is going to position your eye and he's going to have you look straight. And right now he's asking her to follow his finger. This is important for making sure that the laser is applied to the correct place. Suction is then applied and then it's filled with fluid. And then he, the machine is docked and he uses a joystick to get everything once again in proper position with the machine and bringing it down towards my mom. Right here is when the surgeon is examining the parameters. So checking the pupil, verifying measurements for the alignment of the toric lens. A toric lens is if you have astigmatism and you choose to have an astigmatism lens placed at the time of the cataract surgery removal. Not everyone has astigmatism and not everyone opts for the toric lens. Some people are fine wearing glasses for distance after cataract surgery. And then these lines and circles and hatch marks, this is basically the used to show where the incisions are being planned and the purple shows the incisions are already being completed. Uh, the circular opening is made for accessing the cataract and then the actual cataract is cut into quadrants so those are the four quadrants that are occurring and the purple shows the complete and you're seeing the bottom box there showing the progress the capsulotomy and the fragmentation is what's done next the toric marks which is for the astigmatism and then the incision so that's it for the laser so what the laser is doing in this video is it's forming a circular opening in the capsule. So a cataract sits in a little bag called a capsule. So we have to cut an opening in the front part in the anterior capsule so we can get at the cataract. So it makes a perfect circular opening and then the laser quadrants up the cataract. Now. Otherwise, if you don't have a laser, we do this by hand with ultrasound power. But it is nice to do it with a laser because it's less ultrasound power in the eye. And that's always a benefit because the ultrasound is what can sometimes cause increased fluid in the cornea. It can cause problems down the road. Not always, but sometimes. So the less energy we have from ultrasound, the better. And if the laser is doing its job, then it's very, very quick to suck up the pieces of the cataract during the actual operation. So now that she's had the laser, you're gonna wheel her into the operating room where cataract surgery itself is being done. So this is the cataract surgery. Your eye is going to be draped, there'll be drapes on both sides, and then a lid speculum is inserted in the eye and that keeps the eyelids open so you cannot blink. You don't need to worry that you're gonna blink during the surgery. The light is super bright. You will notice the light is really, really bright and you may see moving globules and colors during the surgery and mainly what you'll be hearing is the machine which has these kind of dings and bells and whistles and it only lasts about 15 minutes and might be even a little bit quicker if you had the laser because it's everything has been sectioned up already it's been cut up into little pieces so it just needs to be broken down further and sucked up then the artificial lens is placed in the eye and that's actually injected it's unfolded 
in the eye. It's pretty amazing. That takes the place of your natural lens. Then typically you don't even need to put a stitch in the eye. There's no stitches in cataract surgery. They take out the lid speculum, take off all the drapes, put in all the drops. They've already injected lots of antibiotics and steroids, but they'll put in more antibiotic drops and you wheel to the operating room. Oh, and then you're wheeled to the recovery room. Here's my mom in the recovery room. You'll wake up with a shield on your eye. And again, it's not like you're put to sleep, but some people kind of doze off during the surgery. Some people are awake the whole time. It just really depends. Usually a light sedation is better because you're gonna need to follow the instructions of the surgeon. Your eye is not paralyzed during the surgery. So you actually can move it around. And so that can be a detriment to the surgeon if you're looking the wrong direction. So oftentimes you might hear your surgeon say, look down, look down, look to the right. If you're looking off into different sites because he's not got to be able to operate. Usually your surgeon is going to recommend that you use the shield and you start the eye drops that day. And then you'll see your eye doctor the following day for the post-operative day number one visit. But I thought it was neat. I wanted to ask, we just happened to be talking at dinner time what my mom's experience was like of the surgery. So take a listen. The surgery went pretty fast, I think, about maybe 15 minutes. But the pre-workup, took about uh, close to 30 minutes because they had to, in two different places, apply four drops <coughs> and then start the IV, get the monitor, then anesthesiologist came, the nurse came, etc. So all that took a while. So, otherwise, doing well, waiting for my ride. Glad it is over. Thank you. So there you go. That's what to expect on your day of cataract surgery. I also have another video coming up for post-operatively, for after your cataract surgery. What kinds of things can you do? What things should you avoid? All of that in another video. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you can get that one too. All right, until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. If you've had cataract surgery and you absolutely were thrilled, I'd love to hear if you had the laser, if you had the special premium lenses, let us know your thoughts and drop them in the comments below.